It is the first time for Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt to physically meet in Kinshasa, DRC, since the outbreak of coronavirus in the continent. However, the three-day talks mediated by the African Union ended with no progress as Egypt and Sudan wanted an elevated role of international mediators in the process. The downstream countries also want a trilateral agreement on the dam's operations to be reached before reserve wire filling began, where Ethiopia says failing is a natural part of the dam's construction and is thus impossible to postpone. Uh, unfortunately, you know, this thing, even in this negotiation, it is similar behavior. The last seven meetings, the negotiations were interrupted by calling for change of format, do this, do that, uh, without focusing on what we have agreed. None of them were interrupted by Ethiopia. None of the previous seven meetings were interrupted by Ethiopia. The minister expressed Ethiopia's firm stance on ways of maintaining the enhanced role of international observers like South Africa, United States of America, and the European Union in the guard negotiations to be facilitated by the African Union. So we recognize our three observers, the United States of America, European Union, and South Africa. We agreed to enhance the role of the observers because we are the ones who have selected them. That enhancement of the role is, for example, when we have serious disagreement on issue and we cannot solve it by our uh, discussion of the three party, we can take, we can pick that issue and request the observer to find for us a solution for our consideration. That is an enhancement of the role compared to the previous one. Despite the disagreements with the downstream countries, Ethiopia would not be deterred from proceeding with a second phase of filling the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam in the coming rainy season. On second year filling, also it's very clear it, it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, as construction progresses, uh, filling takes place. This is our uh, commonly agreed declaration of principle. We don't deviate from that at all. We don't also deviate from what we have put in our documents. The three countries have agreed on stage-based filling uh, with defined quantity, 13.5 is the second year, and that time period is during the rainy season when we have a lot of flood, a lot of water in the rivers where nobody will be harmed, when nobody will be harmed because of capturing of that water. Seleshi said Ethiopia has always committed to share data with the downstream countries regarding the second filling this rainy season.